and this guy comes up to me and I sort of try and by gestures explain, ask him what he wants and he says DEET so DEET so DEET 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 so I gave him a pad to write on and he writes and DEET <laughs> So I said, oh, DEET, DEET. So I drew him a DEET, and there was a lot of DEET drawn that day. People would come up and they'd go, I'd go, DEET, they'd go, DEET, DEET. Okay, so here we go, and uh, so it's Despair of the Endless, right? I quite like drawing Despair because she's kind of like a sumo wrestler, and so you can kind of do her all these big circles. One of the things about drawing for, for conventions mm -hmm. is, is that it's kind of different from from when you're drawing. Um, I mean, even if you're used to drawing for a living, drawing for conventions is is different just because people are watching you, and there's a kind of performance side to it. And I know a lot of guys are actually really good artists who can't actually sketch at conventions because they get so so nervous nervous with it. Um, I'm quite. Uh, Personally, I think part of the part of it is that it's done. Um, even if there's a little mistake, it's part of the charm of it. You see? Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm I mean, I'm quite lucky because I'm quite happy to kind of go with that. But uh, there, there are certainly friends of mine who, to be honest, without any kind of false modesty, are much better artists than me. But they, uh, they really get too nervous to uh, to draw. Let's see if I can get the. Um, the face suitably miserable. And despair has a little to a body. Yeah, yeah, I know she there's a lot more to her than what most yeah. people see, especially when destruction leaves. Yeah. yeah. No, she's a, a fascinating character. There's a, there's a bit of me, me, kind of 15 year old bit of me at this moment is going, like, dude, I'm totally getting to draw a chick with, with better boobs. Uh, so, here we go. These little pens that I'm using are made by uh, Pentel. And they're really nice because they're like little fountain pens, but they've got a brush head on them. So you can do these great kind of thick and thin curvy lines with them. If I was working in my studio at home, I'd actually use a sable brush in Indian ink. But it's not really practical to, to carry that sort of stuff around at conventions. You say it gets knocked over or spilled or whatever. So, um, this is actually a nice kind of solution because it lets me draw really nice lines without. And you can do like little thin lines for the fingers, but weight underneath the.